Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are revisiting the Lemonade 3DS emulator, a free open source emulator that lets you play Nintendo 3DS games on your PC, Linux or Android device. Even though its development has officially stopped, I believe it still holds some value. So in today's video, we are going to explore its features and I will be showing you guys on how to download and install it on your device. So let's get started. Now let me give you some small info about Lemonade 3DS emulator. Lemonade 3DS was created as a fork from an older 3DS emulator project when its predecessor Citra encountered major issues and controversies. The team behind Lemonade stepped in to fix bugs and improve performance, giving gamers a fresh way to enjoy their favorite 3DS titles. However, over time, internal disagreements and controversies especially about proper code attribution led the lead developer to stop updating the project. So while Lemonade 3DS 2 works and many users continue to enjoy it, its development has come to a halt. Now let's move on to the installation process. Even though Lemonade 3DS isn't being updated anymore, its stable performance makes it a viable option for many users. Okay so when you look here, I'm running the latest version of the Lemonade 3DS emulator which is 2774 so this is the this is the last version they released before they stopped updating the emulator so um this is the latest version and it works great so i'll be teaching you guys on how to download this emulator and also how to install it right on your device okay so to download the emulator open your browser it could be either your chrome or microsoft edge any browser so open your browser and then you will find a link under this video description so just copy the link and then paste in paste in into your browser so um here like this you should see something like eliminate windows blah 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 so to download you just have to you know um press this thing over here which is which says download press it and then it should take you to the next page which is this and then you press on download anyway press on this to download just press on start download and wait for it to finish downloading okay so um, after download you just have to open open folder open this so we are done downloading the emulator which is this one which is the lemonade 3ds emulator and it comes as in the form of zip file so zip file we will need to extract it and you can use a software like winrar or 7zip for the extraction so for the sake of this tutorial i'll be using the winrar software to extract this file so to extract it you just have to right click and then using winrar you point it to WinRAR and then you select the third one which, which says extract to Lemonade 3DS Windows dash blah blah blah. So we just select this one. We are done with the extraction. Open the folder and then you should see here. You should see. So you can choose any of these two. So you have to choose one. I'll go with this one and then I'll right click and then extract this one too. Now this is the emulator, this is the Lemonade runnable file executed program. So you are going to run this one. We just have to double click it to open the emulator. Here you should see something like anonymous blah 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 just press on no. So here you should see something like double click to add a new folder to the game list. What this means is that when you double click it, you will need to add your games folder to this session. So you double click it and then we select the folder that contains your 3ds games files. So in this manner, my 3ds games files are located inside Citra and then ROM folder. 
after selecting your 3ds game file folder you just have to press on select folder press on this and then you should see your games so if your games are not all showing what you have to do is put your pointer to this session you right click and then this time around you select scan sub folders select this one we say scan sub folders you should see all your games appearing so um come to the emulation session press on it select configure and then under the ui theme you can set it to midnight blue or midnight blue colorful i always go with midnight blue colorful this one and then press ok go to the emulation session again configure graphics session here you should see something like internal resolution so if you have a strong machine i mean if you have a strong pc you can choose between the um four times native and five times native let's say if you have integrated machine like intel hd graphics five something blah 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 you have to choose the three times native which is this one but i have um gts 1070 ti which is a decent specs for 3d simulation so i'll go with the five times native i'll go with this okay so i'll go with the four times native which is this one now select the advanced session here you should see something like graphics api select it and then make sure you select vulcan select vulcan and then under it make sure you select your external gpu so here i have gts 1070 ti so it is set on the gts 1070 ti now come to the controller sessions i mean control session and then head to the downside you should see something like auto map select the auto map select ok and then you select you press on any keys on your controller and then it should automatically set it to your controller after that just press on ok so um we are done setting up the emulator so i think that's all for today's video if you really like this video please like and subscribe to my channel see you next time